In question number 50, a belongs to R and the function f is defined from R to R and we have to find out the values of A for which the equation fx equal to 0 has 3 real roots, 1 real root. If we are considering this equation, we will get A equal to 5x minus x key power 5. Sketching the graph of this part that is 5x minus x key power 5, we can see while x approaches minus infinity, this will take this term to infinity and we can also calculate the monotonicity of this function and this will give us g dash x equals 5 minus 5 x key power 4. So this is going to be 5 into 1 minus x square into 1 plus x square. So on number line we can see the function will increase for minus 1 to 1 and it will decrease for minus infinity to minus 1 and then 1 to infinity. So the graph of this function 5x minus x key power 5 is like this. This maximum at minus 1 is going to be minus 4 and the maximum value at 1 is going to be 4. Now, reading out different option in this question, first option says fx has real roots for fx has 3 real roots for a greater than 4. So, if we are taking a greater than 4, so we can clearly see their number of real roots is going to be 1. So, the correct answer is going to be b which suggests fx has only one real root if a is greater than 4. c says fx has three real roots for a less than minus 4. If we are taking any value of a less than minus 4, we can again see that this equation has got one, only one real root. And the last option says fx has three real roots if a lies in minus open 4 to 4. And we can see if we are selecting a between minus 4 to 4, there is going to be three real root of the equation. So correct answers are going to be b and d. We have to find out the dy by dx of this curve at the point 1 comma 3. Uh, we can differentiate this and we will get 2 times y minus x key power 5 multiplied by the dif differentiation of this part that is going to be dy by dx minus 5 x raised to the power 4 equals x square differentiation this is 1 plus x square whole square plus x times 1 plus x square raised to the power 2 differentiate this you will get 2 times 1 plus x square into 2x. Substituting the value x for 1 and y equals 3, we will get 2 times y is 3, x is 1. This is dy by dx minus 5 equals when x is 1, this is going to be 2 square that is 4. x is 1, this is going to be 4 into 2 that is 8. So this part is 12 and this is going to be 4. So dy by dx equals 12 and this is going to be 4. So this is 3 and 3 plus 5 that is 8. So the correct answer for this question is going to be 8. f is given from 0 to 4 pi to 0 to pi and fx is cos inverse cos x. We have to calculate the number of solution of this equation that is fx equal to 10 minus x upon 10. Sketching the graph of cos inverse cos x for 0 to 5, 4 pi we will get a graph like this. This point is going to be pi, this is 0, this is 2 pi this is 3 pi and this is going to be 4 pi. Now sketching the graph of this, when x is 0, the value of uh, this part is going to be 1. So the graph must be passing from the point 0 comma 1. This height is pi. The graph will be passing through the point 0 comma 1, 10 minus x upon 10 with negative slope. And we can see this will intersect the x axis when x is equal to 10. x is equal to 10 will be lying on the right of 3 pi because 3 pi is 9.42. So the overall graph of this 10 minus x upon 10 is going to be like this. And we can see the number of intersection of these two graphs is going to be 1, 2, 3. Hence the correct answer for this question is going to be 3. In question number 53, we, we have been given the value of this limit is 1 by 4 and a is moreover a non-negative number. a is going to be a non-negative number, integer. Now calculating this limit we can see while x is approaching 1 we can divide this fraction by x minus 1 and we will get a times 1 minus x by cl clubbing these two terms and this is going to be sin x minus 1. Dividing the numerator and denominator by x minus 1 we will get an expression like this and this is going to be x minus 1 so this is 1 x minus 1 upon x minus 1 plus sine of x minus 1 upon x minus 1. We can factorize this 
1 minus x as 1 minus root x into 1 plus root x and this is 1 minus root x and this is equal to 1 upon 4. So when x approaches 1, this is going to be minus 1, this is going to be 1 and this part is 1 as well as this part is 1. So this expression is going to be minus a plus 1 upon 2 and we can see these two terms will cancel out and when x is approaching 1 this is going to be 2. So we will get the value of a from here 0 and 2 and since we need largest non-negative a so the answer is going to be 2. In question number 54 fx is given to be modulus of x plus 1 and gx is x squared plus 1 and hx is for x less than equal to 0 maximum of fx comma gx and for x positive minimum fx comma gx. So we are sketching the graph of fx and gx on same x-axis and y-axis. And the graph of modulus of x plus 1 is going to be 1 unit above x-axis and the graph will be like this. And this point is going to be 0, 1. Again, the graph of x squared plus 1 is also 1 unit above this x-axis and the graph is going to be like this. Now for x less than equal to 0, we have to select the maximum out of fx and gx and this is the graph of gx and this is the graph of fx. So we can see maximum is going to be this much. This point of intersection is going to be minus 1 and again from minus 1 to 0 we can see the maximum part is going to be fx. Then from 0 to this point that is 1 we can see the minimum. Now for x positive we have to consider the minimum. Minimum is going to be this graph that is x square plus 1. And again minimum is going to be modulus of x plus 1. So we can see the, the graph of this hx function is going to be this, then is going to be this, then is going to be this part and then is going to be this part. So from here we can see the function is non-differentiable at 3 point that is minus 1, 0 and 1. So the correct answer is going to be 3.